It's been, what, two years? Something like that, yeah. And we're finally driving to France in our new car. Yay! A dirty new car. It is very dirty. <laughs> Who's the only one? Uh, okay. All right, let's go. Welcome to The Right Life. We're Catherine and Edward, a married couple from London with a passion for traveling and experiencing the world together. On our channel, we share our adventures from uncovering hidden gems to learning about new cultures and discovering amazing historical sites. Join us as we explore the world. Bienvenue, Les Châteaux. Oh, look at the good boy. So this week we're taking the Euro Rail. No, we're not. The Euro Tunnel. Channel Tunnel. You excited? Yes. First time in two years. You get to be excited. I get to be nervous because I've got to drive on the wrong side of the road. I have full confidence in you. 0820 departure is now full. You will be given a priority boarding on the 08. Please accept our apologies for any inconvenience this may cause. Thank you. not one the amazing race but fortunately this is not an elimination round we're on the top deck baby yeah this is to share a train capsule with that swipe from france who made us miss the last train new to us and I think we're running into some issues because we don't actually recognize a lot of the wines and not being able to taste them makes it a little bit hard to choose what you're going to spend your money on and your wine allotment. How much cheese would be too much cheese? Well I think that's too much already and there's only three in there. Is there a limit? I don't know. <laughs> Five pounds of cheese. Jesus Christ, yeah. <laughs> Our hotel room stinks like a tramp's cheesy foot. I'm sure it tastes nice though, but it's been eaten. Behind us is St. Baba's Cathedral, which was originally built in 1274, but most of what you see is from 1549. The entire structure is beautiful, but the best part is the Ghent altarpiece. Can you fix my every post? No. This impressive Rococo pulpit was built in 1741. It's made of oak, gilded wood, and white and black marble. Peter Paul Rubens. The main highlight of St. Bava's is the Ghent altarpiece, more formally known as the Mystic Lamb. It is attributed to brothers Hubert and Jan van Eck and considered one of the world's greatest artistic masterpieces. It is also one of the most stolen pieces of art in history. The Just Judges panel has been missing since 1934. 
Prior to her recent restoration, the Lamb of God had four ears. Standing in front of it is truly awe-inspiring. I found the replica, and you can get up close and personal yeah. with this one. But look. It's got the new lamb, not the old lamb, I think, in it. Edward just tried to touch it. Oh, I'm gonna touch it again. he's going to touch it again. This is just replica, people. This is a replica. filming before. What else do you want me to talk? <laughs> Cutting into my beer time now, hurry up. We've just visited St. Father's Cathedral and I felt a little funny talking too much inside. However, I will say the best... That's easy for you to say. <laughs> the three best things about the Ghent altarpiece, outside of it just being beautiful. Expensive to look at. Dark. And apparently you're not allowed to touch a replica of it. <laughs> There's an awful lot of information that you can find online about the Ghent altarpiece. So I just want to share three things that I like the most. And I like that the lamb used to have four ears instead of two. I like that all the panels are labeled so you know who you're looking at. Did you have a nice night? I did, yeah, it's good. What, what did we get up to? I don't know, it's all a haze. A beer-induced haze. No, we had a bit of a pub crawl. The sun was out yesterday for a couple of hours, so we sat in a little piazza, tried to get some rays, but as you can imagine, it was rammed. You know you're in Belgium when they give you the right glass. And then uh, rather than go back to the room and all that, we just powered all the way through to about 10 o'clock. Went to a few of the oldest bars in, in Ghent and uh, tried a few Belgian beers and um, had a sweaty kebab and uh, yeah, went back to the room, that was good. And uh, yeah, what do you think last night? I was a big fan of the pub where if you got a really big glass, they took your shoes, yeah. or they took one shoe and stuck it in the basket. And anytime somebody needed their shoe back, they'd ring a bell and lower it from the ceiling. What did they put the shoe in the basket for? Uh, so if you ordered the big glass, which was um, almost three pints, so that you didn't run off with the, the glass, which apparently was 90 euros, what the bartender told us. The bathrooms there were up this really scary steep step. And to get to the women's room, you had to walk through the men's room, <laughs> which was insane. And then we made a quick stop at a Geneva bar where we each had our first Geneva and um i just i didn't know what to order i just asked the bartender like what should we get so we each had a little shot of geneva which was fantastic and then we made one last stop to din turk which is the oldest bar in the city and we had one drink there and i was chatting to the brazilian bartender and she offered me one of those brazilian bread things that are incredibly soft and i ate it and my tooth broke so um, this has definitely been <laughs> an interesting holiday. As you can see, sort of this morning, it's totally different weather. The sun is trying to come out, but it was snowing earlier. Uh, it's about 10.30 now, and um, just having a potter about town, trying to find a market. Uh, you know, because we're in our 40s now, so we like walking and going into markets and looking at flowers and stuff. So as you can see, it, you can probably hear in the background, it's, um, there's a boat going by, a tour guide thing, and uh, so that's that's what you got basically. It's like a Ghent's uh, a bit of a strange town. It's medieval. There's lots of stuff over a thousand years old. Um, there's lots of waterways crisscrossing in the town. It's not as prevalent as Amsterdam or Bruges, but no, nonetheless, it's very very picturesque, very pretty. 
this unassuming lamp behind me is actually an art installation called I Nati Oggi, which means for those born today in Italian. And it's part of an art installation from about a decade ago. And every time a baby is born in the hospital, they light it up for 40 seconds. That was just really sweet. It's the Archangel Michael casting the devil out of hell. So this is Wehrigrinstrasse, where people are allowed to come and do graffiti. I didn't say any of this stuff's particularly uh, or inspiring. Some of it's all right. This trip ended a bit abruptly. My broken tooth hurt more as the day went on and we headed back to Calais so we could go home. Despite the dental drama, Gittin really put us in that holiday mood and we were ready for what the new year would bring. A place for ribs, Armadeus. You are, you're doing your Bruce Banner impression. I don't know, he'll keep popping out. No, at the end of the, uh, the Hulk, the TV show, because Bruce, you know, hulked out, he couldn't live with the people that he was staying with. So at the end of every episode, he used to throw his bag over his shoulder and then there'd just be shots of him walking off into the distance like, up, up some road with nothing on it while they played like the same music over the top of it. 